hello everyone we welcome you on our new show rising stars which profiles the emerging talent in the music industry and today on our first episode we have with us a very versatile and talented singer alina rehan khan we welcome you on our show alina thank you so much ojasvi thank you so much for having me here so alina my first question to you is tell us about your musical journey so far all right so my musical journey has been very very interesting because uh, there are a few things which you choose for yourself and uh, there are a few things which happen to you all right and your career is is not one of the things you always tend to think you know that my career is something that i will choose it is not something which happens to you but it's a uh, very ironic because i always say this that i did not choose music and music chose me um it was back in 2018 when i had started uploading covers and my first cover online ever went viral um organically hitting almost 11 million views and you know people from all parts of the world uh, started texting me that we are listening to you sing and you've got a very nice voice this and that and slowly one by one one by one you know a lot of opportunities opened and i was studying my bachelor's in architecture so i was meant to be an architect but uh, mid college something like this happened and when That's from architecture yeah yeah it's a big shift and, and it was very unexpected because i never in, i was passionate about singing but i never thought of picking it up as a career it was always just a hobby but then uh, yeah i think uh, god always has his perfect plan and you know he somehow picked uh, me up from there but you know true 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 and I, it was unexpected but i nevertheless i am grateful every day i can't thank god enough that i get to do what i get to do and um, yeah it's been amazing so who who inspired inspired you to become a singer any inspiration particularly um the inspiration would be so i was uh, born and raised in kuwait all right mm-hmm. and uh, but i am a desi i am as desi as it gets at heart all right and i am an indian so um, back in kuwait back home like i would really hear my mom um, while she would be kitchen uh, you know cooking in the kitchen she would be singing lata ji ke songs and asha ji ke songs so there are so many songs so many bollywood songs that i've never really heard in real life but i've only heard my mom sing them so yeah and those songs are like very very special for me so i would say that my mom my mom is the one who's inspired me to sing that's great that's great so how mm-hmm. how do you approach writing new music and do you, do you have any specific process for it um so i um, i i always feel like the best of content is what comes to you spontaneously and at least for me it happens this way like if you tell me um, alina you have to make this song and if i yeah. sit with that mindset it does not come to me but i could be in the most random places you know i could be having a shower i could be sitting with friends and a composition just clicks me yeah, yeah and i take out my cell phone and, and i start recording sometimes it's uh, it's very annoying for my friends also you yeah. know they're like what are you doing yeah mm-hmm. but then i think uh, that's the thing about creative field you the creativity it can hit you anywhere anytime and right. yeah so many a times so i work in two patterns many a times i have a beat all right and i try to compose something on it and then turn the composition and write lyrics onto it many a times when i'm sitting idle i get a thought i start writing about it and then i compose it so either way that's great that's great. that's a quite a uh, raw process and a simple one yeah and also i think because i've not had any formal education in music yeah. like i've never gone to school and i've never learned so it it's it's very spontaneous and it's very all over it's all jumbled up and it's very um, very confusing but i think i really enjoy it because it's unique to me i know because i have no formal education like no one else can make this because it's just coming out of my heart and out of my soul So how uh, how do you prepare for a live performance do you have any rituals and routines for it Yeah so live performance is something that I'm very very um, peculiar about because uh, making a song is a very personal process I feel but doing live shows is a very very it's a process more about the others than it is about me obviously when I'm on stage I like to have fun but i also want to ensure that the audience has more fun than i am having 
so for live shows actually live shows as the more you will practice for a live show behind the stage the more it will look effortless on the stage so i think for my live shows i do a lot of practice i have to put in a lot of practice and my band and i although i'm based out of chandigarh my band and i we meet regularly in delhi for the practices and to to keep keep jamming oh wow that's great so who are your biggest musical influences any influences you have <sighs> yeah this I is such a tough question that. yeah this is a very very because i think the world has produced such great artists india has produced such such, such great artists That's there's some crazy artists from genre, yeah from pakistan yeah. like if i i think i could have the peculiars you know like if i see just performance wise it could be maybe maybe michael jackson shakira yeah, yeah. yeah because they are great performers oh. Yeah. Yeah, and there are some performers who just captivate like the people who have written crazy stuff maybe Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan sahab. So I mean uh, it's crazy you know yeah like and they us time pe logo mein patience tha people used to be different genres also. They come to 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 yeah. True but currently like in India or in Bollywood because that's so what, what I aspire to. What do. genre do you practice? So I because I sing a lot of Bollywood I practice a lot of Bollywood, all right. But um, when I'm alone or when I'm when I'm a bathroom singer, I like to sing a lot of jazz. Okay. Jazz is my jam. I love singing jazz. Um, it, coming to artists, yeah. If you say that one artist that I really look up to in India or his process of working would be A.R. Rahman. Oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah. like his each yeah. song is a masterpiece. And if yeah. you learn the process of how he's made a song, I think there's so much to learn from it. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah. So you know, you have come up with your new song, right, Papi Girl? So tell us about it. Yeah. All right. So um, again, uh, um, there are so many songs that you write. All right, yeah. and like, I feel like there are songs that I've written which are very, very emotional, and probably I would want to release them. So there's a very funny uh, story behind Papi Girl. Uh, so. one day you know i had like a few songs then I, i was getting no direction because the thing with being an artist is your journey can either go uphill or it can be stagnant you know there are a lot of highs and lows Absolutely. so one day i was just sitting idle all right and i was thinking how do i release the song how do i make a good song so i randomly texted uh, ikka and i told him ki hey bro um i am an artist and i've made a few songs and i would uh, want you to guide and mentor me on these songs So he was very kind. He was very polite. He replied back like, "This is my email ID, and please uh, send me the songs. I'll listen and I'll tell you what we can do." So I sent him five songs, and amongst those five songs, some of them were very close to me. I feel like they are my best written songs. Okay, uh-huh. and and then there was this one song, "Papi Girl." All right, Papi. and trust, yeah, trust me, Ojas, we "Papi Girl" is the song. Just that the friends are sitting around and fun, fun. Me, mazak me, you make something. Yes. so it's a song which was made within 20 minutes in a very very uh, rough dummy scratch version and i sent it to him so that was also one thing i sent but i thought this is to i'm just sending the four the songs were main songs he immediately replies back he's like alina this song papi girl that you sent me is like isme vibe hai ye kar sakte hain and you know it was so random it was so random because sometimes um, your own product which you believe least in it could be the best for someone else because so the, that's when because now yeah. now generations like very peppy songs and very you know, catchy lyrics and very correct. viral songs so yeah correct 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 so even even the lines in papi girl like there's a line waise to hu main kafi gharelu par club ja ke acha lagta hai peena it is something that everyone relates with relate to you yeah because our yeah. generation is yeah our generation is very homely also like we will do all our errands we will do all our chores we will be responsible but we like to go out and party and have a good time once in a while yeah. so i think it's a few and lines in the song yeah which are very real but people connected with it so touch what the song is doing very well that's great all the very best for your new song so Thank can you sing two like two lines um yeah okay yeah first of all any two favorite mm-hmm. lines 
जो देखे मुझको कहता हसीना लोगों के माथे से टपके पसीना वैसे तो हूं मैं काफी घरेलू पर क्लब जाके अच्छा लगता है पीना सबकी आंखें मुझ पे गड़ी है सबकी सेक्सी है मेरी सहेली सब है बोलते आई लव यू बेबी पर मैं नाचू बिल्कुल अकेली आम फारी गर्ल काफी पापी गर्ल पापी पापी गर्ल आम फारी गर्ल wow that's that was amazing i would say Thank and it will go very viral i hope so it was very well mm-hmm. so yeah bro like only 10 days and already you know we've completed like 100000 streams on spotify wow, almost 1 million streams on all the audio streaming platforms 2 million views on youtube people are making a lot of reels so it's good to see organic response so elena any your favorite song you like to perform and why <laughs> specifically why any of your mm-hmm. one of your favorite songs you like to perform and why so so there's this one song i don't know if you've heard i mean i'm sure you must have heard it uh, dama dama mast kalandar obviously everyone yeah knows. the thing got everyone song. knows it and yeah. yeah and it's one of the song which i feel it's very spiritual also all right because it is like you're talking to your creator um kind of kind of being guy yeah yeah it's it's a sufi song yeah it's a uh, very spiritual also but on the same it's very powerful all right uh, you need a lot of uh, your vocal energy and energy from all of your chest to sing that song and i feel it has never gone wrong like every time i've performed that song in my set hey, wow. list people okay. dance to it yeah people dance to it people lose their minds and they dance to it so i think i think yeah that's one song i really like performing so any any sufi songs lined up for you we can have from so i have <laughs> i so i have uh, written a, i have written all kinds of songs like sad songs happy songs yeah. uh, party songs sufi party. songs but yeah. then um yeah but i want to collaborate with more and more of artists because like i told you right i'm not i have not done or learned professionally right. so like like just on papi girl i got ikka bhai on board and to have him on board was um, you know i got a mentor on board Yeah. there was so much to learn in the yeah. process and right now i feel like i'm at a tender age and i want to learn as much as possible so no matter who i'm meeting like even if i'm having this conversation with you i am learning from you to be a patient listener you know so there's so much to learn and i just want to keep learning so how has your music evolved over the years your music um but yeah so uh, my music over years again i think earlier um earlier i was very afraid to write my own music i was afraid to write songs because i was always a cover artist so i would listen to bollywood songs and try to cover them but somehow i believed uh, that i cannot write my own songs or i do not have the capacity or capability to put my emotions into a song right but over time that has changed and uh, i think that changing has had a very positive impact on me because when you feel like that you know what you are writing people can relate with it yeah i think i think it's nice so i i feel like there is uh, i have evolved and my songwriting has gained more confidence i'm more confident with my writing that's great that's great so can you describe a particularly memorable performance or recording session which you enjoyed the most um so so a very 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 few people know this um, but um in 2019 uh, i went to bombay all oh. right and i interned with uh, the meet pros for a year oh, wow yeah so um i think that is majorly from where i've learned music because i had no practical knowledge no technical knowledge Okay. you know how the studios work how to sit in a studio how the recorders works how the artists come and dub so right. one year in meet bros i've had the honor to um, listen to some of the finest artists dub over there for meet bros like johnny ta gandhi uh, kanika kapoor all right there was akhil sajdeva uh, um, kumar sanu ji from old to new all kind favorite. of artists yeah sorry he's my favorite akhil sajdeva Oh yeah he's he is very good so you know aapko you have to learn so much just by listening to them and just by being present in the studio technically i had no job i was just there but to have that honor and to have that experience to be able to witness something like this 
i think in itself is life changing so the, i i would not uh, want to say any one particular artist or particular session but definitely that one year where i interned with the meet brothers that was life changing and i'm ever ever so grateful to them to give me that experience and they're they're like family for me yeah sure but what you learned from them any any particular a small thing only what have you imbibed from them i think uh, one thing one the first thing which i learned from them that singing is nothing but vocal acting yeah if you can anyone can say like pan khai saiya hamaro this this yeah. is just singing but putting acting into it pan khai saiya hamaro yeah the moment it's you put nakhra the moment you put expressions into it yeah. it's everything it's yeah. everything so one would be that singing is nothing but vocal acting and second would be uh the patience and the discipline which you require in a studio room to function as an artist ek artist aur achhe artist mein kya difference hota that's what i've learned in uh, working with me pros that's amazing so uh my next question to you is that how has the music industry changed since you first started and how have you mm-hmm. adapted to those changes that's a, that's a very very nice question that's a brilliant question and it's a very uh, relevant question in today's time yeah. um like i was just telling you back in 2019 i went and i interned with the meet bros because yeah. uh, they were doing uh, some of the biggest movies in bollywood back then and till till date like that word they're doing very good work they're doing very good. but i have realized like that was before uh, covid right since and after covid i think a lot of new indie artists have come up Yeah, you know, you do not, yeah, you don't that. need. Yeah, you don't need a label right now. You don't need a, a Bollywood label right Instagram now. You just need Instagram reels now nowadays. You just need the Instagram reels and you just need Spotify. Exactly, yeah. these are the only two things which you need. You need reels and you need Spotify. You're good to go viral. You know, there are kids who are like sixteen, seventeen, eighteen who have yeah. home studios and they're yeah. making music at home and putting it out and they're they're going viral. Uh, I think Bollywood nowadays is only taking famous singles, remixing it, and then giving it to the public. Yeah. So I think it is the best time for an indie artist to be alive because um, um, I think it's great because you don't need labels, big label. I'll not name any labels, but yeah. uh, you don't need these big labels who could bully Sign you like Mafia. Yeah, you yeah. have a lot of power in your own hands. that's right so you talked about remixes so in your concern that remixes trend is is what you say it's okay with you or they are doing just justice to the old songs or what um see every everything is okay yeah. um till it's done in a limit yeah overdose true. is of anything is exploitation overdose of anything of yeah i think having too much money also for a person that can also be toxic so you know having being too kind can also be toxic so yeah. anything in extreme is bad yeah you take a song once in a while and you remix it it's nice i think it's a uh, it's to give it a fresh aspect to a very iconic song is very very nice but once you start doing that to every song and you feel like that nothing original is coming up it can yeah. be a little upsetting So, any advice for budding singers, aspiring singers, from you? I mean, I, um, I think I, I myself, I'm still budding. Uh, oh. you know, and yeah, and I want to keep this thing in mind. Like, no matter where I get, I will always be a budding singer myself because there's no end to learning. It's The learning never really stops. Yeah, that's yeah. Really. But um, yeah, but I one very most important thing is because I've also learned it recently. So I would love to give it, you know, out there. that you will always have the urge to quit you know there will always be that urge to quit okay. once in a while but the key is not giving up yeah do not give up yeah your success or that one hit song or that that one day which just changes your life is closer than you realize the key is just don't give up that's amazing that was really insightful and Okay. What's lined up? What What are your future goals? Any new in your music career? What next? What's next? Any new song lined up? 
I have a couple of songs lined up actually, and uh, uh, touch wood, they're all collaborations. You know, because I told you right now, I don't want to work. I will give out uh, solo tracks also, but just yeah. like uh, how I got Ikka on board for this song, yeah. I want to keep working with a lot of artists. So there are uh, some very good names which I can't disclose right now, but we'll get in touch soon, and you'll know. Uh, I have uh, a couple of collaborations lined up. and because the idea is to grow more and more as an artist with the mentorship of these artists so yeah actually i'm also very excited i'm also thrilled you know that these songs are going to be out wow so so happy for you and all the very best for your future so thank, thank you, you so much for your time it was our pleasure to have you on our show thank you so much no. it was it was my pleasure to be here and you've been thank very kind and very very patient with me i want to go on record to say this you've been very kind and very patient with me Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.